people. So today, I'm at Lover's Leap State Park. This used to be a bridge for horses opened in 1895 for traffic. And um, eventually, I'm not sure when, they um, closed this bridge off because um, it couldn't handle like cars and stuff, I think. So how the story goes. And, um, but they um, then opened it back up to pedestrians. And it's a really beautiful bridge. And down there are some old foundations that used to be of like a um, mill or a house, I'm not sure. But it's a really beautiful bridge. And people actually started copying what they did in French, the love locks where you um, put a lock on the bridge to lock your love. Yeah, and they started doing that here at this bridge. Over there is the new bridge, pretty ugly, pretty utilitarian, but it holds the traffic it need to hold. And it was built by the Berlin Bridge Co. It says on that plaque up there, but we're on the we're looking at the back of it, so I have to turn around. Yeah, there it is. Berlin. Iron Bridge Co. Berlin Connect, East Berlin Connecticut. Yeah, it's a pretty nice bridge. So, now I'm gonna go down to the bottom to check out those old foundations, the old stone foundations. I think it was for a mill, I'm not sure, but it might say on those things over there. And you'll notice there's also some graffiti down there. Good thing they didn't get that beauty just stuck to this ugly thing. Yeah, so up there is the uh, pretty ugly um, new bridge. But again, like I said, it gets the job done at least. You can see uses some metal truss system. You can hear the cars roaring. But over here, at least now we get a view of the real gem of the area, the Lover's Leap Bridge up there. And I forgot to say why, why it's called that. And this isn't the exact story, but basically to summarize, so it had something to do with an Indian chief or Native American chief, whichever one you prefer, um, who was in love with a American person, or just, long story short, um, they couldn't be together, these two people, so one of them jumped into the rapids of the Housatonic River, which are gone now because of the dam, the Chapag Dam and the Zoer Stevenson Dam. But anyways, they jumped in. Well, one of them jumped in and sadly died. But because of love, the other one jumped in after. And legend has it 
that they died with their arms together. So yeah, it's a pretty cool bridge though. Don't want to get too close to the edge, but it's definitely pretty high up. You can see people walking on it. Okay, go down there. You can see a bunch of graffiti. It looks kind of cool though, with all the color that it created over the years, but at first it was just some boring one-dimensional graffiti, if you could call it that. So yeah, I'm going down to these stone foundations. Oh, some other stuff. I'm not really sure what this was for. If I find out, I'll put it in the video description. This appears to be some sort of a fireplace. So maybe it was a house or just a furnace, but pretty cool, all these ruins. It's definitely what you would call ruins though. Some brick froze to the ground. And let's over here we got a big old stone building. Seems to be more industrial, but again, I'm not sure what this was for. Maybe I can find a way inside. I never noticed these, by the way. I, so I was looking on Google Maps, saw some what looked to be structures, but I never knew these were actually here, so it's a pretty good thong. There we go. So yeah, probably a mill, as you can see. Trees are blocking this overlook. My sunset. I come down here. Now, steep. So you gotta be careful. There's stuff on top of some ice. Yeah, yeah I think this was a mill, but. Not sure if you know what it is in the comments, but uh, I'll probably just look it up when I get home and put it in the description. So, here we got some more. Oh, some more old stone foundation kind of stuff. Cool wall, rustic kind of some graffiti sets so kind of in a bando new mood. I and some more old structures held together by concrete. There's the bypass up there. 
for the um the lover's leaf. So nice little stone lock don't drop my camera. Gonna go down to that thing if I can as well. See the fence that off, but chances are it's not gonna stop me. Again, probably a mill. It's just too industrial looking to be a house, but again, could be wrong. Uh, there's bar pot. Oh, there's a view of it, I guess. Finding another way down. Again, pretty industrial looking and oh. it's pretty some supports up there bruh why Why do people have to drink at these places? Whatever. Oi. Oh, down. I guess I see why they wouldn't want people up there to just ends. That's the ladder. Um now you go on this old thing. There's the bypass up there. This is the Housatonic River. Saw light, by the way. That might actually be a train. But we'll see. It's a very nice river though. Not just some regular cars. There's Lover's Leap up there. Very pretty. Very pretty. Um that sketchy ladder. So the complex. And yeah, it's the Houstonic River. There, through that little narrower area beyond that is actually Lake Lilanona. That's where I was just saying. But yeah, leave you off with a nice scenic view of the bridge. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>